Watching CT Style, so a naturalist who spent the last decade in the rainforests of India, Brazil, and Peru has now written a novel. And it sounds really great. It combines his experience with an imaginative plot. Paul Rosalie is here to tell us all about The Girl and the Tiger. Welcome, Paul. Thanks for having me. So I got to hear about the plot because I think it's, it sounds like a fascinating story. Yeah, it's kind of like a classic adventure, like a, almost like a modern day jungle book is what everybody's mm -hmm. calling it. And the important thing for me is that in this one, the tiger is not the bad guy. And it's a female hero. It's a girl instead of a boy. And it's all based on true events. This is a lot of, the, everyone says, you know, it's a novel, so you made it up. And I said, yeah, but I know a lot of the characters in that book personally. Because you've lived in these countries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not just in the last 10 years of being in the jungle writing this book. I mean, I have tiger bites through my fingers. He's I have tiger wow. bites. <laughs> <laughs> That's I have scars all over my body. I almost got crushed to death by an elephant writing this book. So I was really living out in the jungle with elephant herds, with the wild animals, trying to tell that story so people can read this book. And <gasps> That is an amazing yeah. photo oh right goodness. there. Tell yeah. us about your work with animals and as a naturalist. You've traveled all over. And what, what do you do? Are you studying them? Are you photographing them? I'm a lot of photography, but also um, trying to protect the habitat. We're losing rainforest all over the world. We're losing rivers, the ecosystems. And so I'm trying to protect where these animals live. And so that turns into wildlife rehab. I do ecotourism. Um, I take people to the jungle. I try and write books. I try to connect people to wildlife. Wildlife animals don't have, they don't have anybody to represent them. So I try to be their voice for that. They're such exotic animals that you're with, but do you find that connection? Do you find it like we would find with a more common animal? I mean, it's, oh, it's there, yeah. right? Oh, I feel like I can just talk to them. I mean, that elephant, she had her trunk wrapped around my waist oh, underwater. She knows she was, like, you're giving me a hug. Them. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Nice. I've always been, I've always had that with animals. But this is great because it's girl power, kind of coming of age yeah. story. This is not your typical theme. No, and it's it's a it's a complicated book, and it's it's very tied to the real life issues on the ground in India. But that, that was one of the things that I didn't anticipate, was that so many people would, would sort of love that there's this girl at the forefront of this adventure story, and that's something that people are really grabbing onto. It's exciting. Well, so I'm a book nerd, and I loved how you described it as Mowgli meets Anne of Green Gables. <laughs> yeah. Those are two pretty amazing characters right yeah. there. Yeah, and it's, this is a, Isha is a new, a, new, a new force. And, of course, this book was inspired because in real life, this girl from India messaged me and she knew I was the guy that took care of animals and she said, I have a question about a tigress and she said, I'm going to rescue these tiger cubs. And that was the thing that sparked all this off. Because, you know, I've been working with the tigers and the elephants, but then when I heard that, I just said, this is it. This That's is the amazing. story. Yeah, tell Incredible. us about uh, tonight's event. It's at the Westport Library? Yeah, and tonight I get to take people through the background of this book. I get to take them through all the different animal encounters, all the different close calls, and all the realities of Indian conservation and what wild elephants and tigers are going through. So it's going to be a lot, like 10 years of photos and stuff that I can't show anywhere else, and it's going to be... It's going to be fun. Wow. Can we follow you along on social media? Absolutely. At Paul Rosalie, every day I'm posting all kinds of stuff from the field, wildlife encounters. Fascinating stuff. Yeah. And we can find your book just about everywhere? Just about everywhere, yeah. Very good. Awesome. Thank you Sounds so great. much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me on. All right. More style coming up after the break. That was perfect.